Hey guys, so I've been all night been tossing and turning about this um, Princess of Cups, this Page of Cups and um, what message or download I've been receiving is what the 5D soulmate, what their higher self wants to apologise to each sign about. So we'll see this come up in the readings and people can say well I haven't had an apology some of you have had an apology um, but maybe the clearer message didn't come through so in today's readings I want to look at what their 5d self what their higher self wants to apologize to each zodiac about so I hope that you guys will enjoy this message enjoy these videos please like share subscribe watch your moon and rising signs to help you get a clearer message and we'll go on with the readings hey capricorn welcome to your reading we're going to see what your soulmate wants to apologize about here let's see it can be a romantic soulmate family, friends, co-workers, or just whoever you have on your mind. Okay, let's see. Prince of Swords, okay. Let's see. Four of Cups. Oops, okay. And Seven of Cups. We've had this Seven of Cups a lot, okay. And Six of Swords at the bottom there. Okay, Capricorn, your soulmate here could have come into your life very quickly and left just as quickly. Um, very intense love like you've never felt like before. Um, a lot of emotions brought up with this, a lot of traumas brought with this person, a lot of lessons learned with this person. Even this feeling of rejection or not being good enough, um, they could have left you quickly for a third party here. It doesn't have to be, but we do see signs of another option. Um, I feel like they're sorry here that they didn't recognize, they didn't turn around and see the love that you was offering. Um, they didn't see how important this connection was they're sorry that you know they left before realizing before looking at the truth of the situations because it's like the seven of cups is like looking at the world through rose tinted glasses um one side of it but it's not looking at the truth of things right we usually see this in pisces season where there's this veil so this is saying you know if you was extremely good to them, they seen you as maybe extremely bad for them. If you was extremely bad for them, you seen them as extremely good for them. Like it's just seeing the opposite of what the truth is here. Um, they're regretful. Uh, they This emotion, this love that um, you guys had threw them off balance so much. They could have came into this relationship and you two fell in love so deep that they felt like they lost themselves or their identity here and it's like I gotta get away I've just like got to get away and it's like they keep running from you here and running from the feelings running from the connection or this soulmate connection here they're sorry they didn't recognize you until they was gone they're sorry that they didn't see how much love, how much um, you have to give and how much the connection truly meant to them and to, you know, until they ran away. They know th what they were feeling was distorted, confusing, um, overwhelming. They'd never known a love like this and this person just like had to get away at six of... Uh, swords there they're running from love they're running from their true love here so this person seems like you're their true love and they're running from that for whatever reason it's like 
they didn't know until they was gone this ace of cups that you was offering them they didn't know this kind of love exists sorry i didn't recognize you sorry i didn't recognize the connection the love what it meant i feel even what it still means here to both of you they're still running they're still scared of it um this is like choosing the easy way out here, away from this love. I guess they felt like, you know, if I stay with you, then that's it. My life's over because I fell so deep in love with you that I lost myself. And um, <laughs> love isn't about losing yourself. Um, not you and not them. But you'd found something so amazing, so unmatched here, that I think that while they're on their journey here, they cannot match the love they felt with you. If they meet somebody else, it's discontented, they're unhappy with what they don't feel for this person because nothing ever felt like that. That love that you gave, nothing ever felt like that. It's still with them, it still haunts them. They're unsatisfied, they're confused. This was part of their journey to find themselves, to find that love and understand this connection. But they're just regretful. And they're sorry that they never saw I feel like you, your higher self. And you could have saw them so clearly, so unmatched. Like, this is the one. This feels like you met your twin flame um, that you knew. So you might have even become overly obsessed with them when they walked away or when they left, which added to the separation, added to the confusion. Like, why do they still love me? Why do they want me? I hurt them. I lied to them. I confused them. I ghosted them. This person still feels your love, your energy very strongly. It may not be with the Ace of Cups down here. It may not be that you're this overly in love with them anymore. You might have just balanced out your emotions here. And you learn to love them unconditionally without them in your presence, which is the goal, right? We're supposed to learn to love unconditionally here. This person has tried to meet other people, tried to distract themselves, tried to stay in this Knight of Wands energy, even moving from place to place, job to job, person to person, romance to romance, to try to find what they had with you. They may even try to settle with somebody And they're sorry for that. They're sorry that, I guess they're trying to choose or they chose something mediocre compared to you, compared to your love. They're sorry, I guess, for causing you that confusion and emotional loss there. They see you like withdrawn from love their higher self like yep yeah, i'm done with love i'll just learn to love everybody from afar so it's like um you don't want to fall in love and you don't want to get hurt again here so um they're sorry that they made you feel that you feel like you're more balanced and more healed but i feel like still there's some healing for you to do 
this person is still moving you might hear from them every time it goes retrograde or see them or bump into them them reappearing in your life um maybe not making you the offer with the four of cups there because you're not seeing the offer but it can feel almost like rejection makes you maybe unhappy um within yourself or confused that if we're this if we're a twin flame why aren't we together um i don't often speak about twin flames on the channel but it could be very confusing this runner chaser energy like why aren't we together it would just be so much simpler um because we was immensely in love with each other like we've never felt capricorn this person is sorry they didn't recognize you as their twin Their higher self knows you as their twin. Their 3D self is confused with the Seven of Cups. Unhappy with everything they try to replace you with. Because they're looking for that Genesis Qua that they had with you. I don't think they'll find it until they elevate out of this energy. Um... It's like they need to stay still. <laughs> they need to meditate. Um, you might meditate, but they need to meditate. You might meditate to communicate with them. And say, hey, I still love you. There's no uh, ill will here. Um, and they keep going and keep running and running and running. But they're running away from what they feel. How can you run away from what you feel? They have to stop and face it, face you face this connection they're sorry they didn't face the connection they're sorry this scared them brought up fear it's like they was fearing even crossing over here um they didn't truly want to leave you behind but you know moving forward would be the right thing to do in this connection towards this love towards this light this energy that you give off they're so sorry for that, making you feel not good enough, rejected, confused. They're so sorry they didn't see you because they do now. Their higher self sees you clearly, um, tries to communicate with you, maybe giving you signs and connections to uh, bring you out of this maybe sadness or well, it feels more like discontentment, you know, like, you know, if we're level, um, we're not up, we're not down, you know, without the ups and downs, that's life, right? The ups and downs, but it feels level, like my emotions are stable, you know, I'm okay. When we tell people we're okay, they are sorry they've done this to you. They want you to think positively and I do believe this person, they will return to you, Capricorn. They're sorry they didn't see you before, but they sure do now. 